This short story starts with a white floor. And what is a white surface than the perfect substrate for a perfect painting? We're starting with a Modern Masters Metal Effects Acid Blocking Primer. Apply two coats, then let dry between coats. Then apply one coat of the Modern Masters Metal Effects Copper Paint. It's a very shiny metallic paint. It's rich and pigmented, truly a pleasure to use. So I've applied two coats of primer and then one coat of this metal effects oxidizing copper paint from Modern Masters. I'm gonna put one more coat of this and then while it's still wet, I'm gonna put this green patina aging solution. So let's do that. You'll have a chance to see how the oxidizing solution works in a few minutes. Simply spritz some oxidizing solution over the still wet copper paint. So this is the floor after a couple of weeks of walking. It has aged a little bit. And now I'm about to go and put in some little details. And we're gonna make this look like something else. Then sit down on your young healthy knees, pet your dog and then you can just start doodling on your floor and you'll find it a very satisfying activity. Especially on those hot summer nights, loud with crickets and cicadas. You can derive inspiration from the fascinating and mesmerizing world of fractals. Well, initially the muse was the fractal floor from the second Guardians of the Galaxy movie. If you remember Ego's fractal planet, especially this scene with this gorgeous floor design which appears only for a couple of seconds, this is what sparked the idea of having this fractal-like, microscopic-looking painting on the white kitchen floor that was once a white memory of loneliness. The whole universe... Wait, the whole universe is a series of fractals. Fractals are never-ending, infinitely complex patterns that are self-similar across different scales. They are created by repeating a simple process over and over in an ongoing, reassuring feedback loop. And while I was going for the fractal look and natural patterns such as symmetry, branching, meanders, foam, bubbles, lacing and such like, I have also drawn inspiration from the curious world of bacteria, of which I have learned quite a bit while I was preparing the script for this video. But I won't burden you with information like there is enough bacteria in your body to fill your left calf or that the majority of bacteria lives in your gut and then a close second is your mouth. And certainly I'm not going to tell you that as many as 80 million bacteria are transferred during a 10 second kiss. Also studies have shown that people who live together and share DNA also share their personal bacteria creating interesting scenarios such as this. Anyone would wonder if we're married. You go into the bathroom on one side of the sink is my rectangular container for paint and my paintbrush. On the other side of the sink is your rectangular container for paint and your sponge. <laughs> Classic. Classic, yes. And if you're endowed with an any belly button, you might be delighted to hear that it can have as unique a bacterial fingerprint as you do. Only more in a Ripley's Believe It or Not way rather than a metal earning way. <laughs> According to a citizen science project where researchers swapped 60 belly buttons, they identified a grand total of 2300 species of bacteria with 1400 that could be new to science. One individual who hasn't washed in a few years had two extremophile bacteria species that usually live in extreme environments such as on ice caps and thermal vents. Good grief. I've also learned that bacteria communicate with each other using electric signals. A colony of billions of cells, such as a biofilm, can communicate and work together like a microbial brain. Yikes. No wonder intelligence did not start with humans. Petrichor, the distinct way that dry earth smells after it rains, comes in part from bacteria in the soil that release a chemical odorant called geosmin. Oh, hang on, it looks like I'm getting carried away and there are more steps here. So we're using the copper paint again. Look at the fascinating way the mica pigments shine in the light, so sparkly. We're drawing little patterns inside the bacteria. Again with a long script brush creating rounded shapes and then covering the copper paint with the oxidizing liquid. This really is such a fascinating process, the way the nearly colorless liquid oxidizes the copper and all the cool colors that happen in the stages of this copper oxidation process. 
Part of the magic is in the not knowing how it's going to come out. Not really. The results are always a surprise. And look at all the stages of oxidation. It's so colorful. It's mesmerizing to watch the time-lapse transformation take place. The whole drying process takes a couple of hours. Check it. the stages of oxidation. And look who decided to be a YouTube sensation today, a little jumping spider. It's such a pleasant surprise to know that even spiders are interested in human affairs and human art. He was very curious and I don't know him personally, but I like to think of him as my friend. I've created a bit of a barrier for him with all this rather toxic oxidating liquid, but it looks like he uh, left me a souvenir on the floor too. And then he climbed on the wall and he was just looming over me, watching my every move. Perhaps he was just trying to glean some information on human culture. I wonder how he's doing. I haven't seen him in a few months. Before I moved on to the next step, I used the Modern Masters blocking varnish to help seal the oxidation part. Because the dogs walking on the floors could get it on their paws and licking that could get them sick. The next step is to add some more details, like some shadows, to sprinkle some dimension to your painting. Again with a very thin and long script brush and some diluted dark paint while keeping in mind your light source and keeping your shadow to the opposite side. I did this part with regular acrylic paint, mainly golden mural paintworks and chroma mural paints. I mixed my own colors to create a dark charcoal color for the shadow and then a light green for the highlight. The repetitive nature of this fractal design makes it a very relaxing and meditative project, allowing you to contemplate every single brush stroke and treat it as if it's singular and special, just like a beautiful and unique snowflake. But you need to crush a lot of snowflakes to make a snowball, don't you? After the shadow, can you guess what's next? The highlight. In this case, you can make some very light chartreuse green with white, blue and yellow. The main thing is, keep your highlights on the opposite side of the shadow and your platinum. It's all about the attention to detail that makes a work of art stand out. So this is the final result so far. I like it a lot and I'm contemplating whether to put on a final coat of resin on top of this floor to really elevate it, <laughs> literally. On a lighter note, sociologists will tell you the dirtiest part of the body is the mind, though there is no scientific research to prove their claims.